Welcome to part two of the WAMP server install. You notice that this screen is a different size than the other videos because I want to show you different parts of the desktop and Windows to show you where I'm going so that you can see how I started things up. So to get back to WAMP, once you've installed the WAMP server, you go to your start menu, you go to programs, and you choose WAMP server, and you select the start WAMP server. With WAMP server up and running, what you're going to see in your Windows Explorer bar down here, I believe that's what it's called, you can see this little icon here in the tray. So if you click on this, you see this nice little menu here that WAMP creates, which allows you to conveniently access different WAMP resources. For example, phpMyAdmin, which is that web software, that web application, written PHP designed to allow you to control your MySQL and so forth. And there's a bunch of other things you can do. And the other thing I want to point out is that if you can go over under services, you have Apache and MySQL. Now, if you go to Apache, you notice that you can stop the service, you can restart it, you can uh, start it again when, it, when, it's, when it's off. So right now we know it's running because this, this whole start slash resume service option here is grayed out. So we know that's running well. And if we go to MySQL under the services, again, same type of thing. We know MySQL is running because the stop service button is available to be clicked and the start slash resume service is actually grayed out. Another thing we can do uh, from the MySQL button is we can open up the MySQL console. This is basically a DOS-like window, a text-only window where you can control MySQL by writing in code. Now, this is one way that you may have to use depending on your server, but for most web hosting packages, they will provide PHP MyAdmin so you can easily edit through web page your MySQL setup. Don't worry, we're going to get into this later on in the video when we actually get into MySQL. But for now, I want you to just understand the WAMP console here that allows you to restart your services and check whether things are running or not. And uh, it's a nice convenient way to get things going. Now, when, you, when you're done using WAMP, after you've done your coding for the day, you can just right click on the icon and select exit and that will actually stop all the WAMP services for you. Okay. At this point, I assume that you either have WAMP installed if you're on Windows, or you have XAMPP installed if you're using Mac OS or Linux, or better yet, or easier yet, you just establish that your web host allows you to run PHP scripts. So you can simply upload the scripts there and you don't have to install anything on your computer for now. Having said that, we're ready to go. The boring stuff is covered. Now we can actually move in and start writing actual PHP code.